Time to get Matt Cat. The following is Skipper 414, making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 220 pounds. Matt Cat Moss! Don't tell Corbin this, but I'm kind of liking Moss's new attitude. Yeah! Well, his new attitude has already yeah! paid dividends. Matt Cat Moss won the 2022 Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. on the face of Mad Cat Moss. I cannot wait to see him compete. Bad news has arrived. A man who gets so much pleasure from cutting his opponents down to size with his words. And this. And his opponent from Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, Wade Barrett. We are witnessing the return of the street tough bare knuckle brawler. A man who can put you down with one bull hammer. Focused and ready to brawl. Just like his time on the streets. Tonight's forecast calls for a strong chance of a real hard-hitting, bone-breaking statement being made tonight. Looks like we're about to get some hard-hitting action in this one as Wade Barrett is clearly ready to get things going. Barrett's strikes have been called earth-shattering, even mind-altering. As a bare knuckle fighter, Barrett learned how to hit hard and hit fast. One bull hammer could be all it takes. We'll just see if Barrett can settle this match with a single blow. Facing off is the embodiment of intensity, the one and only Mad Cat Moss. Moss has proven he will take advantage of every opportunity given to him. There's a lot of natural talent here, but he's building his identity one match at a time.
the gut. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. Not quite enough to put him away. Seated knee strike. And Moss's natural talent seemed to have failed him there. Yeah, Barrett's clearly looking to prove that he's still that rough and tumble, hard-hitting fighter from the streets of England. And this could be a big night for Mad Cat Moss. What does he need to lean on in order to make a statement victory? Mad Cat Moss's defining characteristic has been his ability to seize on every opportunity presented. He can't get caught up overthinking. If he sees a window, he needs to take it as soon as possible. That catches Moss looking. is it dominating shoulder tackle oh man Poised to finish Madcap off.
Morgan as flashy as ever. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by B. Fab at a combined weight of 539 pounds, Ashanti Adonis and Top Dollar. You are looking at a very, very intelligent and street smart crew. Yeah, Hit Row looking to put the tag team division on notice. Believe they're a certified threat. Well, in my opinion, Cole, they've already proven it. Here's a crew who relies on smart leadership and plenty of athletic talent. All the elements of an elite tag team unit. And there are points accompanied by IV-9 at a combined weight of 515 pounds. Brutus Creed and Julius Creed. Diamond Mine! The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. underway with Ashante the Adonis and Top Dalla. And the other team across the ring will be Brutus Creed and Julius Creed. Hard to decide what team has the advantage here. It'll probably come down to who can cut the ring and have the best. Who can control the pace? comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. No, no. Executed hip toss. Oh, what a close line. Move him all you want. He's just feeding off it more. Drop kick. Oh, oh, great height. Tossed into the ring. Oh my gosh! Back elbow smash, nothing fancy. Tagged in. the look. 
look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. and embrace his presence. He's in off the tag. Vicious right forearm. Ah, clubbing blow to the back. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. it up on their shoulder. Fireman's drop. Looking for the victory. Two count breaks the count. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Oh. Boom! What a right. All the momentum's against Adonis now. Ashanti has to exhibit some resiliency now. Warded off. Ashanti finding a way to slow his opponent's assault down. Now the chance for him to get back into this match. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Wicked clothesline. Vicious forearm right in the skull. Devastating elbow. the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof.
Here are your winners, Brutus and Julius, the Creed Brothers. Two great superstars that go great together, and that win is proof. They say when you know, you know, and I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys. The Irish Ace, ready for a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. J.D. has recently proven very difficult to beat because of his incredible threshold for pain. Does this guy not freak you out? I mean, he signed an NXT Championship contract in blood. How disturbing with a, a quiet intensity, right? Ferocious thoughts that will turn to disturbing actions. Yeah, those disturbing actions include dismantling the human body, utilizing pressure points, joint locks, and ligaments that can tear tendon from bone. J.D. McDonough is a competitor who changes the landscape wherever he competes. Listen, he'll attack if he senses even the slightest fear or trepidation. Hey, J.D., J.D., fear and trepidation to my left. Look at Saxton. Quiet, Corey. We're about to see an air show. One of the best aerialists in WWE history. And his opponent from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Ricochet, one of the great high flyers in WWE today. But, Corey, how would you compare Ricochet to the high flyers of the past? You can name some of the all-time greats in Rey Mysterio, Shawn Michaels, superstars who truly excelled in the sky, but none to the level that Ricochet has. I just love to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because Ricochet is going to do something special here tonight. Before this match, Ricochet said he wants to be a beacon of hope that there is no dream too big. Sometimes I think Ricochet says those kind of things less to convince others and more to convince himself. There's a constant confidence check going on in Ricochet's head. Look out! Oh, God! That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Ouch! Break his arm. Vicious. Watch this Herculean power. Deadlift back suplex. Four. Oh. Five. Oh man, that'll bend your arm. Double underhook. Butterfly suplex. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. He climbs back into the ring just in time. 
That was getting close. And Janey's keeping the pressure on. Let's see what McDonough can do with the opportunity. You know, the guess that taken on Ricochet means focusing all your attention on his aerial game. Yeah, but that would be a mistake. Ricochet isn't a guy who's all sizzle and no steak. He's a fundamentally sound athlete. He can throw hands, he can grapple, he just happens to excel in the air, second to nothing. Cover! He got the shoulder up in time. Kicking out now sends a very clear message. JD's focus got rattled there. Yeah, while well, Ricochet can build up some confidence after that. Yeah. McDonough wasting no motion on the counter. <laughs> and JD gets out of the way. Uh, McDonough with a corkscrew roundhouse. An absolutely spine tingling move from McDonough. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner, Ricochet! He definitely got the job done tonight. It's always great to visit the pay window, but a victory like this makes the winner's purse all that much sweeter.